on everyone and welcome back before I begin this review. If you're just now tuning in to my channel, I ask for you to subscribe, like, and my motto is get reputized by clicking that bell icon so you don't miss a thing if you like my content. If you don't, it's all good. Just tell your friends. <laughs> nah, seriously, on the serious note, I just got back from watching Countdown and I gotta say, there's a reason why I waited so long to review this movie. I looked at other reviewers and they weren't that keen on it and I don't really blame them. I'm gonna make this short and sweet because I didn't even script it. I didn't even feel the need to because I don't really have that much to say. But I wanted to review it anyway. So Countdown it follows these kids or teenagers or whatever gets this app downloaded on their phone that tells them when they're gonna die and it's called Countdown. That's basically it. So start off the positives, I don't really have that much, except for commenting on the way the movie looked. It was done nicely, the way it was shot. I'm not never going to claim that I know everything there is to know about movies, even though I love movies. But as far as the positives goes, that's all I can really say about it. Which slides me into my mixed. Some of the scares, some of the jump scares did get to me. Some of them, not so much. I didn't hate them, but I didn't like them either. It was okay. It was fair. It's like the filmmakers was trying. The story, uh, it's just something that I've seen countless times before. Especially with these ghost stories. With demons possessing and ghosts and hauntings and rituals. I've seen it so many times before. And it reminded me so much of like the Bye Bye Man and Slender Man. And they had a lot of elements of Final Destination in this, which I kind of liked, but I prefer Final Destination over this. And let's get into the negatives. Oh, man. The characters were boring. They were dull. They were bland. I didn't really care that much. And I'm not even going to name the actors that played in this because I already forgot. That's how bad it was. Although, I did hear about one actress that played in this that's actually from where I live. It's in the newspapers, too, if you read it up, if you look at this girl's name. I think it's the, the girl that plays the actual lead character, the doctor in this. She's actually from where I live, which I thought that was pretty interesting. But still, I just didn't care for this movie that much. The dialogue was cheesy, and there was this dumbass subplot that I cared nothing about, and it had no merits to the story whatsoever. It was stupid. It wasn't that scary. Yes, it had some creepy moments, but I'm just, I'm not going to lie. I'm all for scary movie. I'm all for horror movies, if they're done right. I just felt like this was done for just a cash grab. Kind of like that position of Hannah Grace. Don't get me started on that. So my final thoughts, if you're looking for a scary movie, you're not really going to find it here. But it just depends on who you are. Just don't hold your expectations too high. I'm going to give Countdown a D-. minus. So, Countdown, what did you think of it? Did you see it yet? Leave me your comment down below and give me your thoughts. Stay tuned for more reviews and videos coming soon. My review for 21 Bridges should be out soon. And also, Ford v Ferrari, if I hadn't uploaded it already. I'm in between the reviews. I've already got done with Ford v Ferrari the other day. I just hadn't uploaded it yet. So, maybe by the time you see this, I would have uploaded it. If not, then... It is what it is. You'll see it regardless. Thank you so much, guys, for watching this video. And as usual, like, subscribe, get reputized by clicking that bell icon so you don't miss a thing. I emphasize on that. Peace the rip out.